Hi, welcome to this edition of How To Q. Today I'm gonna to show you how to mount a TV on the wall. I could give you a number of different options. I'm gonna only give you one. Let's keep it simple. Okay, behind me you can see these blue Tapcon bolts that I use to put this on, uh, this TV on. Let me show you what I did and I'm gonna show you how I did it. And one of the things when you go to the store to get what you need, take your wall mount with you. It's gonna save you time and <laughs> aggregation, aggravation um, because they don't leave a lot of room in these slots here. So let me show you what I did. These slots, I marked this wall. I put the mount up here, the height I wanted, did pencil marks all along here, okay? And you can see I not only got the Tapcon screws, but I also got washers because you can tell this Tapcon screw really barely would hold that on. I wanted a little firmer hold. And you can also notice where I put them. I didn't really line them up vertically. Um, horizontally they're lined up but I wanted to be at the end of blocks and I'm going to show you that now okay so here's a three three types of block that I just grabbed um, you've got your large cinder block you've got the block that's really prevalent here in Arizona and then you've got your brick obviously it doesn't always look like that sometimes you'll have the three holes in there the reason I bring this up and the reason I drilled the way I drilled is you want to go into the solid part of the block. I like the end part just because you know you're going to be getting into solid block all the way through. Um, actually through this way. You don't want to go through here and get go hollow right away. It just won't hold as well. So pick the end of the block and then start drilling. We'll do that now. Okay, once you've got your eye protection, your hearing protection, or no protection, it's up to you. You should have all this stuff on. Um, you can start drilling. Okay, you're obviously gonna need to drill for this job. This is mine, it's a Makita. Actually, it's a really nice one. It's got three functions. Yours probably has one or maybe two. It's a, usually a drill or impact. So obviously there's the drill function. It's just a dial I turn. Impact for screws. And then there is the hammer drill function. For around the house, this is perfect. Uh, for larger jobs, they have specialty hammer drills, but this is going to help me a lot to do this job, so make sure I dial that in. You also need, and you can't get away with this one going with a regular drill bit, you need concrete drill bits. Here's a cheapie from Amazon. They're only like 12 bucks. Um, you can get that. I'm going to use a quarter inch drill bit on this one because I got, there's actually a lot of information on the top of the Tapcon cover. You need it for concrete, it says concrete right there, and then it also tells you what exactly drill bit you need. You need a 1 16th smaller drill bit than the Tapcon you're using. That's a really quick tip and will help you when you're doing this job. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too painful. I am choosing the end of this block. You're gonna actually see me blow out this block. Um, when it's on the wall, that won't happen. So just for demonstration purposes only, I'm drilling through the center of the block. I would recommend you use those two and one quarter inch or you're going to go through the entire block, so don't do that. But it, ha it goes pretty quickly, especially with that hammer drill function. All right, if you're lucky, you've got a drill bit that takes on a socket. That's a 3 h inch socket. I'm just going to use a normal ratchet. One of the things I didn't do when I drilled this hole was clean out the dust. They recommend you do that. But still, even without doing that, this is not going anywhere. It really will hold up, hold a lot of weight. Like I said, my TV is about 40 pounds, so it's gonna be great. Okay, real quick, two things to add. Throw a piece of tape on your drill bit. That'll tell you how far you need to go. If you're doing two and a quarter, like I recommend on this job, go two and a half inches, put a piece of tape, and drill. Also, you've got a level on your phone. Use a level when you're mounting a TV. Invariably, it's gonna be lost. On block, it's not a big deal, but if you're doing it somewhere else, you got a level on your phone. That's another good tip. Okay, that's it for this edition of How To Q. Whether you're putting up a TV, whether you're putting up anything up on a concrete block, a block wall, a brick wall, you can use those Tapcons. Um, make sure you have the right drill bits. Make sure you have the right drill. Make sure you have washers if you're mounting a TV. All those will help you save time when you're getting this job done. Make one trip, not several trips like I had to. Um, hope this helps you with your project. If you learned something, please like below. If you've got other ways to mount things on block walls, which believe me there are, please share that in the comments below. I appreciate you watching. I would love for you to subscribe. 
click the bell to notify for new videos. I've got a bunch of old videos on everything from A to Z on my channel. Please check that out. We'll see you next time.